Hello fellow gardeners and welcome back to the Humus Heritage. Today I'm sharing something that might sound a bit unusual at first, but trust me, once you understand the science and see the results, you'll wonder why this simple method isn't talked about more often. We're exploring how something as ordinary as stale bread, yes, that forgotten loaf sitting in your pantry, can become one of the most powerful soil amendments you've ever used. So settle in, because what I'm about to share could completely change how you think about building healthy, vibrant garden soil. Every gardener, whether you're just starting out or you've been at this for decades, has faced the same frustrating challenge. You prepare your beds, you water diligently, you follow all the advice, and yet your plants just don't thrive the way you hoped. The tomatoes are smaller than expected, the flowers lack that vibrant color you see in magazines, and your vegetables seem to grow slowly, almost reluctantly. The culprit is often the same depleted tired soil that's lost its biological vitality. Over time, even the best garden soil becomes exhausted, its microbial life diminished, its nutrient cycling capacity reduced to a fraction of what it once was. We spend money on commercial fertilizers, compost, amendments, and expensive soil conditioners, always searching for that magic ingredient that will bring our gardens back to life. What if I told you that one of the most effective solutions has been sitting right in your kitchen, just waiting to be transformed into a soil supercharger that costs virtually nothing? Here's the revelation that's going to change your gardening game. Old stale bread that you'd normally toss into the trash or compost bin can actually be deliberately rotted and fermented to create a microbial feast that soil organisms absolutely cannot resist. And, you know, this isn't about simply burying fresh bread in your garden. Instead, we're creating a carefully prepared mixture that undergoes a controlled fermentation process, developing colonies of beneficial molds and bacteria that will jumpstart your soil's biological activity like nothing else. The preparation is, honestly, remarkably simple. All you need to do is take your stale bread, tear it into pieces, place it in a covered container, and add just enough water to make it damp but not waterlogged. Then you let nature take its course. Store this container in a warm, dark place for 7 to 10 days and watch as it transforms. The bread will develop visible mold growth and you'll likely notice a distinctive fermented odor developing. What you're witnessing is the colonization of naturally present microorganisms, species of penicillium, aspergillus, rhizopus molds, and various bacteria that are beginning their work of breaking down the bread's starches and proteins into simpler compounds. Now let's explore what makes this rotten bread mix so incredibly effective at revitalizing garden soil. Bread is essentially a concentrated package of carbohydrates, proteins, and small amounts of fats, everything that soil microorganisms need to thrive and multiply rapidly. When you bury this fermented bread mixture in your garden, you're introducing not just the beneficial microorganisms that have colonized the bread but also creating an irresistible food source for your soil's existing microbial community. The molds and bacteria growing on the bread secrete powerful enzymes called amylases and proteases that break down complex starches and proteins into simple sugars, amino acids, and peptides. These simpler compounds are like fast food for soil microbes, allowing them to multiply exponentially and kick their metabolic activity into high gear. The fermentation process also produces organic acids, particularly lactic and acetic acid, which serve multiple crucial functions in your soil. These acids help lower the pH in localized areas which is especially beneficial if you're dealing with alkaline soil conditions. This pH adjustment increases the availability of essential micronutrients like iron, manganese, and copper, making them more accessible to your plant's root systems. When you bury the rotten bread mix, you're also creating an ideal microclimate, dark, moist, and protected from temperature extremes, where microbial populations can explode in number and diversity. This microbial feeding frenzy doesn't just stay confined to the bread itself. The heightened activity spreads throughout the surrounding soil, attracting earthworms and other beneficial macroorganisms that feed on the decaying organic matter, further enhancing soil structure through their castings and tunneling activities. The benefits of this method extend far beyond simply adding organic matter to your soil. 
When you implement the rotten bread mix technique consistently, you're fundamentally transforming your soil's biological capacity. The explosion of microbial diversity leads to dramatically improved soil structure, with clay soils becoming more friable and easier to work, while sandy soils gain better water retention and nutrient holding capacity. The increased earthworm activity creates natural channels that improve aeration and drainage, while their castings add incredibly rich plant-available nutrients throughout your beds. You'll notice your plants developing more robust root systems, deeper green foliage with more leaves and significantly increased yields in your vegetable crops. Flowers will produce bigger, more vibrant blooms, and the overall health and disease resistance of your plants will improve noticeably. The breakdown of organic matter raises your soil's organic carbon content and total nitrogen levels, while the organic acids produced during fermentation help solubilize phosphorus and other nutrients that might otherwise remain locked in unavailable forms. Implementing this technique in your own garden is straightforward and honestly, it can be scaled to fit just about any size plot. Start by digging a trench or hole in your planting area, making sure it's wide and deep enough to completely contain your rotten bread mixture. Place the fermented bread in the trench, cover it thoroughly with soil to prevent attracting unwanted pests, and then water the area well. The buried mixture will break down over the following two weeks, continuing to attract and feed beneficial organisms. You can repeat this process regularly as a continuous soil improvement method, using it to prepare new beds before planting or to rejuvenate established areas between growing seasons. For larger gardens, simply scale up by preparing multiple batches of rotten bread mix in separate containers. This approach not only transforms your soil but also diverts significant food waste from landfills, making it a truly sustainable gardening practice. Now it's your turn to experience this transformation in your own garden. Try the rotten bread mix method this season and, hey, just watch your soil come alive with activity. If you found this guide valuable, please subscribe to the Humus Heritage channel and share this video with fellow gardeners who are always searching for effective, natural ways to improve their soil. Drop a comment below sharing your results, I'd really love to hear about your experiences with this technique. Stay tuned because we have more unconventional soil secrets coming your way that will keep your garden thriving year after year.